So uh, this video covers some of the special problems with pronoun antecedent agreement. A lot of these problems also exist for subject verb agreement, which we studied over the last two weeks. So the first rule here is about collective nouns. Collective nouns are words that um, they can be either singular or plural depending on um, how they are used. And there are words that imply a group, but sometimes a group of people um, is singular, and sometimes that group is plural. So here it is. A, a, a collective noun takes a singular pronoun when the noun refers to the group as a unit. So if they're not talking about individual members, they're just talking about the group, um, it's going to be singular. A plural pronoun, when the noun refers to the individual members or parts of the group. So if the sentence refers to um, a bunch of individuals, then uh, it'll be plural, or if it talks about how there are subgroups within the group. So here's the example. Um, the tour group surprised its guide by presenting her with a lovely thank you gift. So here, they only gave one gift, and the group did it, um, and uh, that means it is singular. They're not all giving individual gifts, so it is not talking about individual members. Um, it is talking about the group as a unit. They gave one thank you gift. Um, and that means you have to use a, a version of he, she, or it, because you have to use those pronouns um, that, that are in that singular list that I had you copy the other day. And those are forms of he, she, or it. And since the group is, is not a gendered thing, uh, we're going to say it. But check this out. The guide surprised the tour group by presenting them with lovely souvenirs. See, here's kind of a tip for you. See how souvenirs has an S at the end? That means that there was more than one souvenir, which means the guide had to give one out to each uh, person, had, had to give it out to every person, rather. So, so them here is used because now the group, uh, each individual is getting souvenirs. So we're talking about individuals because they have souvenirs. All right, 5V. Uh, an expression of an amount, uh, like a measurement, a percentage, or a fraction, uh, these can take a singular or a plural depending on how it's used. So an expression of an amount is singular when the amount is thought of as a unit. And oftentimes you can look at predicate nominatives or objects of prepositions to figure out whether or not uh, it is a unit. Uh, plural, when the amount is thought of as separate parts. Okay, that magazine costs four, $4. So this is a cost, and a cost is singular. So even though $4, you know, is $4 bills maybe, um, the cost is the price, and the price is singular. So these $4 is one unit. It's one unit of money, making up a cost or a price. That means we're going to use a version of he, she, or it, which are the singular pronouns that refer to $4. Uh, he had dropped $4, so I picked them up for him. So now um, the person is dropping um, not a cost or a price. He's dropping actual dollar bills. So now it's, it's separate dollars, so you pick them up. I imagine if it said uh, he had dropped a $5 bill, it would be singular, but $4 here would be individual dollar bills, or at least $2, two, two dollar bills. All right, um, a fraction or a percentage is singular when it refers to a singular word, plural when it refers to a plural word. So just like this, these amounts here, fractions will be very similar. So at the top of the next page, you can see that. Um, this uses a preposition that's your hint. One-third of the casserole. Casserole is singular, so we're going to call it it. But here we have one-third of the bagels. There's your hint. That's plural, so we're going to say uh, they. Um, 5W says that some nouns that are plural in form tanks take singular pronouns. So a lot of the ICSs, X, 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 X. But then also, strangely enough, molasses, um, summons, and news. Um, however, sometimes um, many nouns ending in ics, such as acoustics, athletics, ethics, politics, whatever, 
um, they can be singular or plural pronouns. Uh, when you're talking about a science, a system, or a skill, it's singular. When it names qualities, activities, or individual items, the noun is uh, plural. So, uh, and, they, and they give an example here of the two. Um, so just like how there are a bunch of words in that purple list that show that are always um, singular for the most part, um, there are a couple words that are always plural. Anything that you would say pair of in front of, um, pair of binoculars, pair of eyeglasses, well you wouldn't say pair of Olympics, but Olympics is, is always plural. Um, pants, pliers, scissors, shears, shorts, slacks. So these are always plural, so you will always use TH pronouns. You're always going to say um, them, them, they, they, their, etc. Um, and then at the top of this page, it talks about um, titles of works. And titles of works are singular, so even though the X-Files is uh, plural in form, it, it's one television show, so uh, it is treated as singular, so we're going to call it an it. And then Sleeping Musicians, although it ends in S and it seems plural, it is uh, the name of one painting, so we're going to call that an it. All right. Uh, the gender and number of the relative pronoun that, which, or who um, uh, is determined by the gender and number of the word to which uh, it refers, its antecedent. So check it out. Wendy, who, uh, has already fulfilled most of her campaign promises. Um, here is a pronoun inside of the adjective clause. And here's the relative pronoun. This refers to the relative pronoun, and the relative pronoun refers to the word right in front of it. So if there is a pronoun inside of an adjective clause, it's going to have to agree with this word right here. These retainers, that's plural, which have my name on them. Them refers to which, and which refers to retainers. So them goes with retainers as well. Retainers, retainers is plural. Let's go ahead and use them. All right. So go ahead and try exercise seven. Um, you don't have to copy out the whole sentence. If it's correct, you can just write C. Otherwise, you can do something like this. You can write they dash it, meaning they turns to it. If we had $70, they would be enough for that program. Here, uh, they're hinting that, that the $70 are one price. So you would make that singular. So you can't say they because they is for plural things. So this would be it. And the way you would answer that, you would write that as they dash it. Let's go ahead and do uh, the remaining 10. Good luck.